Welcome back to our channel. Previously, we completed the main frame of the bench and made a functioning sliding bed, but how many changes do you think we'll make? Good afternoon. It's not afternoon, but it's close enough. Yeah, so today's plan probably is going to be to box all this bench. We want to change, put the front on this sliding bit probably, which is going to help us in this case. I mean, it still works fine. But I'm still not very confident that this edge is going to hold all this weight. I will I literally don't, disappear. I, I don't see how that could happen, but I don't want that to happen. So, I think if you're in a hurry and you haven't put it across properly, yeah. that's when it, or it's not quite on. You only have 12 millimeters of edge that this all side sliding bit sits on. So I think instead of that 12 millimeter edge, we're just gonna put legs on. Oh, we definitely need to do something with this wood yeah. as well because so, it's still quite spiky. We probably were gonna sand it and maybe put the coat of varnish or some sort of stain. Obviously, this not is not gonna be the face that's gonna be completely open to the eye, but we still want to make it look a bit better. Oh well, yeah, so I think we just crack on with the little things and see, see how, how far we, we go. Get. Yeah. The first task of the day was to collect and recycle some old door frames and begin creating the front frame of the bed. My job was to sand down all the cut pieces to ensure we get a nice smooth finish ready for staining. Whilst I cracked on with that, Aramis was busy cutting the ply that will be used to box in the benches. We used Gorilla Wood glue and a few pocket hole joints to create a strong, durable frame. This was the piece that would be moving, so it needs to hold together. Now let's go and fit it. Test fitting. Front frame goes here. So that's going to be painted in green. LED strip under. This I should just up here. And then we lift it, we lift it like this. So yeah, we need to fix a couple more bits before we fix that. But that's the idea. I would say that's not far off a king size. And then I think the idea for design when it comes to it, see these are gonna be pretty covered anyway. I think we're gonna go for the same stain as the ceiling. As the ceiling. Well, and then, frame, yeah. yeah, and then this panel here, we, originally I, was, I really liked the idea of like a sage green, didn't I? Yeah. But I think we've gone more for forest green. And then Aramis has left a tiny little gap under here, which we're going to try and put some LED strip lights this side and that side, just to give it a little bit of ambiance. Yeah, ambient, yeah. So I think that side's pretty much done. So I think obviously this side boxed in, boxed in. I think we're going to box this side now and then we just start building the top. And, yep. and now we could just cover all this framing work. So you know, let's see any of that. More measuring, more cutting and... See so yeah, how we get on with this part. Before boxing in the toilet section of the benching, we had a small job to do first. So we want like a um, like a carpet uh, at the bottom here, but we want like the same finish at this front, same like a um, our floor. Let's put some vinyl on top. We had some leftover vinyl, which was perfect to cover the ply with, and blended the floor with the step. Perfect. We used contact adhesive on the ply and vinyl and then fixed it to the step with OB1 silicon adhesive and added a few screws for good measure. Right, let's not turn it back now. We hope not because it's not coming off if that's the case. Ooh. Three screws, I think. One there, one there, one there. I knew I was going to see them because the, uh, the corner. Yeah, piece. we're going to get like a piece of trim or something just to cover this corner just to give it that nice, whoa, that nice finish. We're gonna put that um, doorstep carpet, we get like the sort of brown rough material that we're gonna put along there just to be able to dust our feet off. I think it'll be okay. Step almost done, we could start boxing in the toilet area, which came together really nicely.
just to finish the day i think we're gonna do the top bits for the bench so we're gonna try to cut the back piece and this piece probably gonna be separate it might be even two pieces actually now it was time to create the seating we decided to split the rear section into three equal sections with a plan to hinge the center to allow access into the garage on those rainy days which is most days welcome to england my friends back section done now onto the side bench we did have to scribe along the wall to get a flush fit but this section will also be on hinges to allow for storage access beneath lastly we cut the lid for the toilet and called it a day So, after another day of working on this bench, U-shaped bed, or whatever would you like to call that, we almost done it. We have made a lot of progress today. Everything is covered with ply, but... As soon as it's all yeah. painted and varnished and stained, it will really... I think it's going to look so good. We have quite a lot of space here, like just as a bed. There's loads, there's more than enough room. Because you can sit here, we can sit up against the wall on the back panels at the mm. side, you can sit Actually here. now, if you lift your legs, we can make a bed. Always forgetting which one to pull. So, there you like, go. Look at that. It depends how you want to keep it for the day, whether we're going to leave it in bed mode for the day, if we're feeling a bit like just chilling somewhere, or... So that's going to be my side, so I can test it now. And I actually... I can lay down and I've still got some space. Um, yeah, so this lifts up. This back piece, we decided that we're not gonna make it fully lifted, we're just gonna make this side just lift up like this. And we can get inside. Also, we will have something here, either pull out drawers or doors to get to the back. And these two are gonna be separate pieces, which also gonna be lift up here and lift up here obviously it's not fixed yet because we need to get through this and then i think the plan for this one once this lifts up we might do something with this back panel because originally we were going to have a door this side because this is hopefully where our loo's going to be but there's a little lip there so sliding a toilet out this side would be really difficult but there's nothing there so we might make a door yeah. at the side to be able to slip the toilet out quite easily our sliding bed which now feels so much more sturdy now everything else is in yeah and look at like the size but yeah that's what we managed to do in the last couple of days which i don't think is bad considering we've never done anything like this before. we have we struggled a bit with the bed because we had to rethink how we want to do it we've done it one way it wasn't working we had to redo it so that took some time but but yeah that's probably gonna be it call it quits today and then back at it again Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow. We've got to get supplies first, I think. But we still need to do some welding, which is a yeah, shame. Yeah, that time when I found another hole. Well Good done. job. Thanks for your efforts. Let's back up and go. So, good morning. It's bank holiday Monday. So that means there's just one more day we can work on a van. Supplies purchased, it was time for the first task of the day. It's been a while since we ran out of supplies and thought we were due a cock up. We hadn't bought enough plastic channeling. So after drawing the short straw, I was off to B and Q again. Whilst I was gone, Aramis fitted the step trim and fitted the remaining hinges to the bench lids. little update I keep, for, I keep forgetting that I just fitted this trim piece and I'm keep stepping on it I'm just making sure it's not coming off but I think it's already proper on anyway so I put it hinges on this one we have a lid here we have a lid this big piece 
Uh, I'm just testing the one inch on this piece. Uh, so just two hinges on there, and obviously we have this. So everything is going smoothly. So what's next? What's next? Yeah, I want to try to make a sliding door here in the back. So what I'm planning on doing, so this piece is going to go in and then this side section is going to have two sliding doors. That's what I'm going to make from 9mm uh, ply and I'm going to use 12mm uh, U-shape trim and then on the other side there will be like a sliding draw that will come out here. I have no idea how I'm going to make it but I'm gonna give it a try. After I returned like an absolute hero, we began measuring and fixing the channeling into place. Sliding doors cut, it was time to see if one, they fit, and two, they slide. A bit pointless otherwise. Sorry, but doesn't this look like we know what we're doing? Go on, pros. I'm definitely vibing with the green, but whether it's gonna be Everglade Forest, so straight away, I don't know if that needs to dry a bit more, but yeah. that immediately looks lighter than that. So maybe it will be nice to have a different, I don't know. I think that's gonna dark. I do up like this one, but I do worry that the more layers of this, it's gonna go so dark and we're not blessed with a lot of natural light once the doors are closed. So it's been dingy, it's a bit too dark. This has got quite a nice pop of color to it. It's just hard to judge it, isn't it? It's like, so it's... hard. And I don't wanna do it all and then think, oh, we should have gone for the other one. So I would have preferred to have had another tester of the darker yeah. one and we could have compared the two, but they only had this one in a tester. We just need to have a look, maybe order one. And that's our sliding door sort of finished. So what we're planning on doing is we're going to stain all of this around the outside, the same colour as the ceiling. But, yeah. but the function, I mean, it's so good because obviously you can now get in all of this space from here. So you don't need to use this lid. Because this is fixed, but that one comes up. And then this one gives us the middle compartment because that back piece doesn't move, but this lid opens as well, but only from the inside. So we can access it from the inside if it's horrible or and the outside. Here, we're gonna have a pull up drawer. So maybe make like an outside kitchen area so that if it is nice outside. I just love the idea of something I think it's not going to be long, it's maybe a metre, less than a metre. Yeah, it's really coming together. I cannot wait to do a coat of stain because I think it would start to transform it all. Can start putting on. Completely. Okay. okay, let's give that a start. We prepared the van ready for painting, a prep that would make Dexter proud. If you know, you know. We then spent some time staining all the benching and allowing it time to dry. So we got our back frame stained, we got our bench tops stained and varnished. The underside, let's see how that looks actually. It could look really naff, so if it does. Mm. Eh, I'm gonna close that. <laughs> but yeah, so this weekend turned out quite very, good. Very, very productive. Yeah, it was very productive. So for next time, I think we can even start looking for the paint. Yeah, and I just want to make sure we get it right because that green I'm really not sure is the right green. We're looking forward to, for building the kitchen. And then that's the, the mainly the big bits built. Yeah. I think kitchen and cupboard, this big cupboard at least, as soon as that's in, this can go in last minute if at all, if we even bother. Yeah. Because we've put this slat here just in case we don't put anything there. But I think once we put the cupboard in here and the kitchen unit's built, it's going to really look like. Mm -hmm. We're not far off finishing touches. Well, okay, yeah. So, that's see you it. next weekend when hopefully we build the kitchen. 
Bye. Bye. And that's where we're at at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. Your support is always so greatly appreciated. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Take a Peek at This for some extra little snippets as we go. See you next time as we prep the old girl for our MOT.